Hey there everybody, this is Eli with Premiere on Script, back with another video, and in this one I want to talk to you guys about signing extension panels so that you can distribute them to maybe your organization or you can sell them online through the Adobe Exchange. And in order to do that, um, we have to deal with packaging our, our panels up in a way where we don't have to make the user go set the player debug mode flag to 1. Uh, which is covered in like the second movie I ever posted, which is right here, loading custom script panels in Adobe Premiere. Now, the reason I'm doing this video um, is thanks to a comment by Sunstiff. Great content, thank you. I was wondering, can extension work without, message, without messing with the reg edit files? Can you make a tutorial about this? And I responded to that. I'm behind on making videos. Maybe I'll do that over the next week or so four months ago. So sorry Sunstiff, but we're gonna uh, make things right and get you the tutorial you asked for. If you guys have any other tutorials you wanna uh, ask me about, uh, why don't you leave a comment under this one. So let's get started in uh, signing our panels so that we can uh, distribute them, you know, Adobe Exchange or if you wanna distribute to a, a larger organization, you don't wanna have, you know, uh, go setting the player debug flag on each one to one. Uh, let's get started on this. So the first thing you're going to need, um, well, I guess first off what we can do is the first thing you're going to need is to test your panel. So get, make sure that's tested. It works. If you're doing cross-platform on uh, different operating systems, make sure it works on both. Really test it good. And uh, for this, I'm going to use this uh, example of this Motion Master extension I've built. I might distribute it at some point. Don't really know yet, but I'm going to copy it to a distribution folder. And if I jump in here, there's a couple things I want to clean up before I get into really uh, compressing this into a .zxp file, which is the, the zipped up file that you would be using to distribute. Uh, and one thing is I'm going to come in, I'm going to delete my debug. Uh, I'm going to come in and I'm going to del delete my debug file. There's no need for that to be in there. And I'm also going to delete my git file. When we go through and we start packaging this up, we're going to have to zip it up in a way that uh, will not allow anyone who gets our code on their computer to go in and change anything. It's going to uh, ensure the quality uh, and like the original co code that's in there. Uh, but if you have a git file in there, that can kind of mess it up and it doesn't like it. So go in there and clean up any files that you don't need and get your, your package like fully ready to go. The next thing we're going to need to do is go out to the uh, Adobe CEP GitHub. And from there, we can go into the CEP resources um, area and then down to ZXP sign command. We're going to go to 407, the newest version, and then download whichever one you have for the operating system you're using, and download this uh, exe file, this zxp sign command file. This is going to be the application that we use from the command line that actually does all the work for us. Uh, it's documented here in in the Adobe Premiere like samples GitHub page that we reference quite a bit. You can come down to the section about create panels for Premiere Pro and in section six it'll walk you through packaging and deploying your panel and you can see that we're using the ZXP sign command in here. So now that I've downloaded that, uh, you've downloaded that, uh, I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to the directory that I have uh, this stuff in so we'll go into this distribution directory and I already have the ZXP sign command in there you know ready to go and if we just run this, so I think we go you're going to see all the options that we have. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a certificate that we can add to our package. This certificate is just going to provide a little bit more information about us and uh, who we are as the developers behind this thing. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I will go to clear and we will go zxp sign command.exe and then we have to pass in a bunch of parameters here. So if we jump in, you can see it's self-signed cert, US, California, Adobe, Bruce Bowles, all these things. But you got to swap in your information. So we'll come in and we'll do uh, self-signed cert 
uh, space US. One thing to make sure is do US and not USA. USA will kind of mess up the whole certificate creation process. Uh, past that, we want to do our state, our organization. So I'm going to do California Premier on script, my name, Eli Portel. Um, and then a password for this, we'll use password. And then the name of whatever this P12 certificate that you're creating is going to be. And I will do um, on script cert dot P12. And if we do that, and then we come back out to our distribution folder, you'll see that we've created this certificate, this P12 certificate um, that we can now use to sign our package. So the next step we're going to do is to actually sign our panel. Again, if we go to uh, just run this, you can see all the directions in here. So uh, right at the top here, we see sign, and you put in all your information. So let's go ahead and do that now. I will do CXP sign command, and then I'll do sign. And the first thing we're going to pass in, uh, you can see, is input directory. So I'm going to pass in the path to my Motion Master um, script or panel. Once that is in, I want to output a ZXP, and I'm going to call this uh, Motion Master dot ZXP. Now I'm going to put the input path. We've got our input directory, our output ZXP. And then I'm going to put in our input path to our P12 certificate. So I'll come back out here, copy this, just give it the file path to on script cert p 12 The next thing we have to do is put the P12 password, which we made as password. And then the final step in this process is we have to timestamp this. This is putting a, a timestamp of when this extension was created like when was the first time it was created and to do that we have to go out to an external timestamp um, provider so you do you go come in here you go dash tsa and then we have to put in a timestamp uh, url and there's ways right here they suggest timestamp.digicert.com um, in here you can see they are using timestamp.geotrust.com slash TSA. There's multiple providers for this. We'll try this one that they are recommending, which I just, oops. okay, HTTP slash ash. And then we will press go. And if it works correctly, you will see this, uh, this text that says sign successfully. And what will that do? It's going to uh, create our motionmaster.zxp file in this distribution folder that I have here. So this is it. This is what you would do if you wanted to uh, distribute this or upload it to the Adobe Exchange so that you could sell it. Uh, this zxp file is the, the zipped up uh, extension that you've created. But now we have to get to the point where we have to be able to install that. And we need a different program in order to install it. It's going to be this xman command uh, application that is also provided by Adobe. So in order to get to that, we come out. And if you go to um, the same, the source Adobe CEP, and you go into the getting started guides, there's a section called package in distribute install, uh, which would be right here. And then there is the xman command guide. And in here it gives you all the information about it. And it also gives you the download link to this partners.adobe.com exchange program uh, support page. And there uh, you can then download this. Uh, basically it's an installer. This is the installer for your ZXP file. And you can install it for Windows or for Mac. I've also already downloaded it. So if we come out to that. It'll un come in a zipped file. You can unzip it, put it wherever you'd like. And then this exe right here, or just the plain application, uh, is what we're going to be looking for um, in order to run this. So if I were to come down here and do um, 
x man command underscore win and then give it the path in here to x man command dot exe it's then going to give us all those instructions again um similar to what we were doing with the zxp sign command and the important one that we want to pay attention to in here is going to be install. So basically we're going to pass in this path, we're going to give it the install, we're going to give it the ZXP file path, this is all right here, and then it will place it um, where it needs to go and unzip it um, and add some files so that Adobe knows that it's trusted so we don't have to put that player debug mode flag on. Pull this back up. So I'm going to get this and then I'm going to put a um, Actually, there is a slash at the beginning you have to put, I believe. Yeah, we do slash forward slash install. So forward slash install. And then let's give it the path to our ZXP file. We'll just copy this. And before I run this, let me just take a peek in my extensions folder. You will see that... Um, well, there is a motion master right there. I'll delete that because I already tested this. And when I run this, it's going to be installing the extension uh, right here. It'll say installation successful for extension with file path. And now we can see um, it's right here. Premiere on script dot motion master. And if we click in, it's going to look a little different than that source uh, panel that I had in the distribution folder in that it's going to have this meta inf a folder and it's also going to have this mim type file these are things that adobe's adding to make you know so they can do their checks to make sure it's trustworthy and there you have it this will now load up in premiere if i reset my uh player debug mode so we can go ahead and test that reg edit i'll come into player debug mode modify it down to zero And then we will open Premiere. And now we'll set a new project and we'll come in and see what we have in our extensions folder. We should see quite, uh, well, I guess compared for me, I normally have a lot of extensions in here. And now we just have a few. And Motion Hub, this is going to be the one. Uh, doesn't look pretty because it's not quite done, but this is the one that is now signed and ready to go uh, without using player debug mode. So there you go. To just sum those up again, you clean up and test your folder. You have to make your P12 certificate first using ZXP sign command. You then have to sign your panel and package it up into a ZXP. And then once you have that, you can download the Xman command uh, installer. And that's what you would use if you wanted to distribute this to a team. You would you know, distribute it with the installer and install it on a bunch of different uh, stations. So um, that's that. Took me four months to make the video, but there it is. Hopefully that helps some of you install and upload your your great extensions you've built to the Adobe Exchange and you know make some money off of them or distribute them to your teams. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions or tutorials for the future, um, leave them down below and I'll see you next time.